This is by far my favorite recipe for bread or braided bread. I forgot to put cup on there for the first two, sorry. So you're gonna start off with the first four ingredients in a bowl, one and one fourth a cup of warm water, one fourth a cup of oil, a tablespoon of instant yeast, and a tablespoon of sugar. You're gonna put those ingredients in the bowl there and you're going to let it foam up. It only takes about a couple minutes. So once you're waiting for that to foam up, you're going to put your four cups of flour in a big bowl. You're gonna put your salt. I highly recommend putting chive rings in there. You don't have to, but it's delicious. A tablespoon of that and your rosemary. And you're going to incorporate that really well with a whisk together. Once you see all the bits kind of scattered really well, it looks like this and you know that you have stirred it well. Then you're going to incorporate this foamy mixture in with that. I like to use a wooden spoon and when I can't do that anymore, I knead with my hands really well in a ball. And then you are going to oil that bowl if it's not too messy or you can do a separate bowl if you'd like. Put it in the middle there to rise with a hot, damp, wrung out towel and put it on somewhere nice and warm for it to rise for an hour. And while it is preheating your oven, it's going to help it rise on there. I had some buttercup squash, so that helped um, as well. It's so delicious. Um, you can start to tell that it's rising because you can actually physically see a little bump on the top. But um, it takes about an hour. If you're like me and impatient, it's like 40 minutes or 30 minutes. Put it on a floured surface and you're going to roll it out with a nice rolling pin there. And you're going to trim the edges nice and uniform so that your strips are all the same size, which is very important. Because you want your strips to be tight and all the same size so it doesn't look wonky. There's my extra dough we're going to roll out later. So take your three strips you're gonna braid with and pinch them together at the top nicely. Then you're going to braid really nice and tightly and neatly and try not to tangle the ends there, your bread strips together all the way down and pinch the ends um, or cut off the ends if it's not all the way and one stretched out too much or something and then just cut it off and pinch it. Don't worry if it's too long, like it's longer than your pan or whatnot. You can just cut it and pinch it if you'd like or just play Tetris like I did on mine. This is how I hold it. It's easier to get it tight if it let, I just let it hang over um, the edge and then if it stretches too much, I let it sit on the table and then continue braiding. And I like to hold my dough down if because I have a really bad knife. If you have sharp knives, you probably don't have to hold it, but it does help. These are going to be a different size than my first ones because it's my <laughs> leftover dough. But, I mean, you can just cut it with a knife after, too, when you're done cooking them. And, yeah, just put them side by side to, in the pan that you're going to be cooking them in so that they can rise together for another 15 minutes on the oven. Get get your... um your same towel nice and hot again and wring it out really well and put it on top there with it. And once they're done, you don't have to do this extra step, but it does make a difference. So once they're done for about 15 minutes, they're rising again. You're going to put it in your preheated oven for 400 degrees on a middle rack for about, I think it was 17 or 18 minutes. And then once that's in there, I am making my garlic butter mixture. I put about a couple of tablespoons of butter, a teaspoon of garlic, and some salt and pepper for 30 seconds in the microwave. And then I like to put in some more chive rings because it looks so much prettier when you put them in there, but also it tastes good too. So stir that really, really well. Then once you're bread is golden brown please keep an eye on it it does cook really super fast and you don't want it to burn because it would be a shame it's so beautiful and yummy and uh, not only does this butter mixture make it taste delicious it softens it up as well and voila 
they just pull apart so nicely. They're nice and crunchy on the outside and they are nice and soft on the inside. I hope that this helped somebody in the kitchen. I know I'm really bad at explaining things and my camera is not professional, but, and same with my editing, but I hope that I am helping somebody make something delicious that they like and that they can be proud of. So here's my squash, my arugula salad, and my yummy braided bread. Happy braiding, guys.